everybody, this is JC and this is my HP Omen 27i gaming monitor. Now, this one, you can pick it up from Best Buy. It's for a reasonable price of $399. It is one of the cheapest price right now. So if you're looking for a good, not so good, a very good gaming monitor, that's gonna give you the best color picture quality there is for your PS5 or your gaming laptop, this is the monitor to get. Trust me on that. If you see in my previous video, I had a gigabyte ultra wide monitor. It was beautiful. It had the same specs as this one. It had the same 2560 by 1440. It was um 4K, I mean 2K. It had more HDMI ports than this one because this one only have only one HDMI, HDMI port. But when it comes to performance, when it comes to color accuracy, this blows all the other monitors I've tested out of the water. You can look at you can look at my um, playlist. I had uh, I did a, I did a impressions with the Dell, uh, with the Alien, the Gigabyte, and this one by far is my favorite. I love everything about it. This monitor, it's got amazing viewing angles. You can view from any angle. It won't wash out. Everything would be just perfectly fine. The only the only issue I have. With, with with HP, I wish for the omens they would make a bigger screen. I wish it'd go like 32, 46, but I guess they think 27 is the sweet spot. For what reason, I don't know. But overall, everything about this color-wise, I'm just blown away. Every game I play is just fantastic. And it's very intuitive when it comes to apps. With this monitor right here, when once you connect this bad boy up to your to your PC, it's gonna automatically download the Omen Gaming, Omen Gaming Hub. So you don't have to worry about nothing. You can control all the features of your um, of the monitor with this app right here. So I'm going so you can see HP Omen Gaming Hub. So or you can also use another option. The other, the other option is you get a joystick in the back of the monitor right here. So it makes it easier. It's very easy to use. Trust me on that. But if you want something to be more easier, instead of you keep reaching for the back of the, the monitor and do all that stuff, just click and use the HP Gaming Hub um, app right there. I'm not gonna click it real quick. I'm not gonna click it. I'm gonna click it later, but just not right now. First thing first, build quality. In my opinion, fantastic build quality. This stand right here is all metal, which I like, unlike the rest, which is plastic. This is all metal right here. All of this is metal. Fantastic. The only thing that's really plastic on this thing is the is the frame right here. The frame that holds this um beautiful screen. That's the only thing that's on um, metal, but I mean plastic. But other than that, it's a beautiful IPS panel. Like I said, 27 inches, 2560 by 1440 2K. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing build quality. And you got, some, you got some amazing lights, one in the back with, in a triangle form in the back. That's a typical Omen thing, the triangle. And also you got one right here underneath the monitor. Beautiful. And if you're wondering what cable I'm using, this cable I'm using is a eight k cable and um, it's perfect for anything. Only thing you gotta make sure that the device is um, updated and um, updated to the whatever feature and you will take, take advantage of it. This cable is very powerful, trust me. I don't use cheap stuff on my things. All right, let me just go to the to some features. I'm gonna go to the back of this one to some of the features. Get a joystick that's well built in. The the, the, the bulb right here is to turn off the RGB lights. So you can see right there's off, back on. And the RGB lights is very bright, very bright. It got some amazing colors, which I'm gonna get into in a few minutes. You tug it to the left. You can adjust the brightness, the, the, the contrast, and everything else. That's from the key, that's from um, the little joystick in the back. As you can tell right here, it gives you the information about the monitor. 2560, 1440 by 144 hertz. Boom. It gives you all the information. HP, you want to make sure that you know what you're getting into and, what, and what's available to you. They very, they very give you a lot of information. So for the gaming, for the gaming feature, you got several um, things you could select. For example, it tells you that um, you got a free sync that's on right now. So 
Come my gaming, my gaming laptop, the ASUS G15 Adventure Edition. You got the AM, you got the AMD Free FreeSync Premium. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take advantage by giving it the best, um, free, get the best what um, ref, um, re, um, time frame, whatever it's called again. I don't recall right now, but response time. Yes, you're gonna give it the best response time. Also color and everything. Boom. So trust me. And if you have a monitor that uses NVIDIA G-Sync. Boom, you're right there. You're good to go. This is a complete package. This don't discriminate. You got the AMD, you're good to go. You got in, um, Nvidia, you're good to go. All right, go back to some features right here. All right, so you got different things right here for the gaming. You got a different response time. You got a different response time. You got the level one, two, three, and the level four is fastest. The only difference is when you select, when you select um the fa the fastest level the gameplay is going to be very in going to be very responsive but you're going to lose quality in the picture so the best i just keep it at one because the one is the perfect balance you get I still get great response time and great colors and everything you can use four if you're doing very competitive gaming but the picture quality is going to suffer so you could play with it between one i say between one and two but i wouldn't go any higher if i were you you got message timers, message timers where you can where you can select like speed run timer, countdown timer, it's got different like, features right here. So I guess I'm not playing in the game, so it's not activated right now. You got the cross here, you got the cross here features. The cross here it helps you if you're playing like shooter games. So you got the little plus in the middle of the screen and it helps you with the shooting accuracy. You got, you got external lighting where you could select um, the ambient and on the bottom. I'm not gonna do it with the monitor, I'm not gonna do it for the monitor, I'm gonna use it through the app to show you, which is pretty cool. You got multi, you got multi align, multi monitor align, so I don't have a multiple multi monitor, but you can imagine, if you know what it is, you can imagine. For image, you got some beautiful, oh my gosh, this thing is just blow me away with colors, man. Blow me away. So let me go back right here for the image. You got different levels right here. You can select the odds, auto, Limited range, you got full range. It's all the way right here. I think this goes with the with the um, RGB setting, I think. Got the overscan, image scaling. Image scaling can go to full screen or a filter screen, filter aspect ratio, or pixel to pixel. Whatever you want to use, that's fine. The only thing this monitor doesn't have, it doesn't have some features that I miss with the gigabyte, like picture in picture or picture on picture. Those are the features I miss. And it doesn't have KVM, uh, keyboard, video, mouse. It doesn't have the feature, which I'm gonna miss dearly. Cause the Gigabyte have those features that I love. So Gigabyte have that, have an edge on this monitor when it comes to those features. But this kills every other monitor out there. Even the Samsung G5 and the G7 kills it when it comes to color. And I'll this is just a perfect monitor. Trust me, you, don't, you guys need to buy it, buy it to use it. Me telling you, me just telling you and doing this video, it's not doing anything, not doing this monitor justice. One of the best monitor for the buck right now. If you can get it for the same, for the price for $399, go get it. Believe me on that. So let me go back some more right here to show you guys. You show you got the you got the import, you got the input ports, you got a display port, the HDMI, you got auto switch, which I got it on. You can turn it off if you want. And um, we got power mode where you can you can set to auto sleep, power on recall, you can select a seal sleeper time, a power time off for the power LED. Got some different menus right here. Let me see different languages you got. You got several languages on this monitor. You got several languages. Let me just scroll in so you can see. So you got um you got Dutch, I believe this is um Chinese, Korean, whatever it is down here, you got English. Espanol, French, French, Italian, all the different things. I don't know much of these languages. You got Netherlands, you got Portuguese. You got quite a few languages right here, which is pretty cool. The main transparency. This one, I don't really know much. I don't use it, but I think this has to do with um making, um, oh yeah, I see what it does. As you can see right there. Okay, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I never noticed that before. So what you can do, it makes it, it makes um, this right here kind of like 
sort of like phase out so you could see the images in the background while you're selecting the selecting these menu options which are, that thing's pretty cool that's some great features got menu timeout you can set it for the minute to time out at um 30 seconds or a minute that's a pretty cool osd messages you got you can tell your power on logo no input signal it's got some nice features on this one trust me you can um factory reset it if everything's if you want to go back to factory and this one thing I like it gives you this monitor is very informative it tells you everything that you need to know about it as you can see right there the 27i ips current mode is at 2560 by 1440 right here for the current mode and optimal mode i got this color setting on gaming but i usually put it on movie because a movie it is beautiful which i may show you in a minute or i may show you in the next video free sync backlight hours it'll be showing i've been doing it for 11 hours now but and all of that now my favorite part of this monitor with the omen with the omen app like i said once you plug this bad boy up to your pc it's going to automatically download the hp omen app and the app is a is a fantastic feature to have which i'm going to show you guys real quick so let me just go right here and first of all i want to show you the the picture the settings i got right here for the display and this is very fluid oh my god almighty trust me even when i had the even when i had the gigabyte and the lg and the and the alien i said it at the highest uh, refresh rate it is not as smooth and buttery like the hp omen this is a beast trust me so let me go back here um for the hdr i'm not sure you said it's got hdr but it won't turn on so i don't know if i'm missing something here but i just want to show you I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong area right now. Let me get out of here. Just want to show you some of you guys real quick. But the display that I got it on the max. Show you the display right here. So for the got it on Omen. I'll show you right here. Got it on the max right here. 256 by 1440. Oh god, you can't see that. My bad, my bad, ladies and gentlemen. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Boom. Sorry, it's squeaky. I know my, my tripod is WD-40. <laughs> yeah, I already know. Everything's out of my own pocket. I'm a, I'm a budget guy right now, so work with me. As you can see right here, 256 by 1440 for the desktop mode, active signal mode, bit depth 8, format RGB. Now, some monitors, if we go automatically to the YCC, whatever crap it is, and it looks terrible. I hate it. This gives you color format RGB right off the jump. And as you can see right there, one four four zero. What well, I mean, what not one four four zero? One forty four hertz. I'm tripping, but I love it. You could select one twenty, one hundred, seventy five or sixty. What I go with the max? You spend the money, and you got you got the max available. Shoot, use it. Why not? It's your money. You man, get the best out of what you pay for. I don't blame you one bit. I know I do. Jeez. All right. Anyway, let me get out of here. I'm gonna use the HP Omen app to show you some other features, and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. Uh, maybe in the next video i may do some um, gameplays and um probably put a few little clips of some movies and whatnot on it but right now i just want to show you some features of this monitor this monitor is sweet trust me on that so with the gaming omen omen gaming hub let me zoom in so you can see and click it boom this is what is this is what it does sweet monitor sweet sweet monitor you got some features right here um you got my pc you got the omen 27i and you got some things right here where you could shop you could shop on there you could buy the hyper x um things like for example the keyboards and you could also buy the um the wireless headphones and you got some other features too okay let me just click on this right here for you guys so you guys could see with the hp omen this is what i love it, it makes everything it makes it so easy for you to just plug and play not much monitors give you this much option for example you want to click my pc i click my pc did i click my pc it gives me all the information i need about my pc it telling me i'm giving my um C, my gpu utilization right now is at zero percent because i don't have nothing running in the background or do i but anyway it gives me the temperature what is running at it's at 114 um, degrees fahrenheit it shows my cpu 
running at 145 or 250 um, degrees Fahrenheit gives me the RAM, how many RAM, I'm, my RAM utilization, and right here give my storage for my um, C port, C disk, and Ford and D disk. The network is showing my network download speed. It's kind of playing up and down right now, and it gives me showing all the process, the apps that's running right now, uh, all the apps that I've, I've run in the background. Boom. So if you need any information about your PC, you don't have to um, click and search like you're gonna look for um, control panel or task manager and all of that. All you gotta do is click the the, uh, the, the, the HP Omen Gaming Hub and click on my PC and give it every information you need. As you can see right here, it's got, it, I got the uh, system vitals. This is the system vitals. And um, it's on basic view mode. You got advanced view, which I'm gonna click right now. And this is the advanced view. It gives you everything, the clock, the blue, the blue right here. Let me zoom in real quick for you guys so you can see. All right. And if you guys want to sponsor me with a new camera, I'm all for it. Just leave, just leave your information in my, in my email account. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you. It gives you all the information of, 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 your, of your CPU. And this is the little, this little graph right here. And um, it gives you all the information for you. Because right now, I'm using the AMD chip to give you all the information right here for your CPU with the clock the power it gives you for the GPU as well and also if you got two chips like mine you got the got a Ryzen 9 and the Radeon RX give you all the other information as well as you can see on the graph right here and also it even gives you information about the RAM for another word you show it right here I have a total of um I have a total of 31.4 GB of RAMs, got about 32 gigabit of, of uh, 32 GB RAM inside, and it gives you the information. It tells me I got 24 available, cause you got 6.9 of it in use. Utilization 29.9%, which is pretty cool. I'm not using the internet right now, so you ain't gonna see no um, upload speeds and download speeds, but it give you all that information based on the Wi-Fi card they have inside. And as you guys want to know, you can look at my playlist and to see how to remove and to install the Wi-Fi card in the ASUS G15 Advanced Edition Gaming Laptop. I got everything for you guys, for your needs, all right? That's what I'm here. I'm here to inform and please, but don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. It really appreciate to get noticed in the YouTube system. All right, next one is system information. And if you want to know everything about your system, it's all right here. See, the H, the All Main Gaming Hub is very, very, very informative. It's all the information you need. If you're not sure what you got, oh damn, look at this. It even tell me the the, the, the card, the the what the RAM that I put inside the other day. See? Okay, let me just go, let me move it up some more so you guys can see. Because just a couple of days ago, I installed a Time Tech RAM. It's a double, it's a dual rank, and it tells you right here what kind of RAM is inside, as you can see. You got the Time Tech SD432, capacity 16 gigabytes of GB. So it's because it's two of them. So, so it tells you each one is 16 GBs. And it, it tells you the default clocking. This is this is sweet. So you got the same thing. And, and it tells you what kind of audio you're using, all of that. This thing is very informative. So HP, I'm a big fan. I love ASUS, but for monitor. I'm going with the A. I'm going with this right here. I'm going with the HP Omen all the way. Now, last but not least, this is all the different modes right here for the picture. You got you can select standard. Um, you can see this. You give you a sample of the image quality right here, which is pretty cool. Let me just zoom in. See if see if we can help you guys. So you got standard mode. Um, you got gaming mode. You can see the difference in image quality. Movie, which is my favorite. Warm, I'm not so much of a warm fan as you can see. You got cool, native, and for those that are concerned about blue light, low blue light, got it right there for you guys. And you got HP Enhance. And HP Enhance got different modes. You got the low, you got you can select different modes. You got the low, medium, and high. So you can select it on the low. I like I like to keep everything in the middle. So I'm gonna keep, put it back to the medium. Which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna put it back on movie because I love movie. The movie is good. So I select it, apply, and I'm done. Now, 
The next thing I want to show you, which I'm gonna, which my room is dark, so I can't get to show you guys real quick. But I'm gonna show you guys no, no, nonetheless. It got different features for, for the lights. So, as you can see right here, in the back it says number two, and you got right here number one. This right here shows you the under the under the light that's underneath the monitor, and this one right here gives you number two the light that's in the back. That's what it looks like a big triangle with the lights right here. You can select different colors if you want, but what I what I do, I got it on different. Let me see the display. No, I don't want. I don't need that for the lighting. What I do, I I select it on um advance. And I don't mess with the hue, leave the hue as it is. But I usually keep it on a um, random color and I put it for both one and two. I think that's what I did. Yeah. You got zone one and zone two. Or you could, and I think you can select both of them too. I think I did, I just don't recall how I did it. But you could select each zone to do the same thing. For example, I got on zone two, zone two I got it on static. And I've um, got it a random color. So what it does is cycles through several colors, as you can see right there. And you can set the time of the speed of the of the lights. So you can select it for breathing, and you can select it to cycle every 10 minutes, or one minute, or every 10 seconds. Which I like it on every 10 seconds. I like it. I like it to cycle through lights all the time. So that's what you do. You select for the random color, for the for the this for the for this whatever the zone, which is zone two, you just hit apply. And then you go back to zone, select the zone one. And you already know zone one is for the light at the front of the, of the monitor. And right there, you just go back to animation, random color. I don't, you know, I usually do what? Um, I do breathing. And then, no, I don't do breathing, I do a uh, random color, my bad, yeah. And then I select the 10 seconds because I want it to cycle through it fast. And it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. So, and that's it. Let's hit apply and you go to go. And you can select the brightness right here where it goes all the way up to 100% and it's very bright. What I'm going to do, when I'm going to do some gameplays on this monitor to show you and some other things, I'm going I'm to make sure that my room is dark. So you can see how bright this monitor is. I mean, no, the RGB lights. It's bright. And um, that's pretty much it. So this is my um, first impressions of this amazing monitor right here, the HP Omen. Do I think it's one of the best 2K monitor for gaming? Absolutely. It's very affordable and very intuitive. You got the amazing viewing angles and it is the colors are fantastic you will not go wrong with an amazing monitor like this so this is the money well spent don't mess with the samsung because samsung monitors are a piece of crap for some reason so if you want uh, uh if you want a monitor that's going to give you all the information that you need without have to go without have to jump in through hoops and you want something that's going to give you best quality pictures colors this is the monitor to go all right this is the boy jc thank you for tuning in and um i hope i see you in the next one Peace out.